All right, we're back. So let's see. We've managed to do pretty well for ourselves in this first level of the dungeon. Kind of hoping. I don't remember where the door is to the second level, but I think we're pretty near. Did I get a key for this door? I don't think so. Let's see. Oh, okay, yeah, I did. And we've got some action here. Close that door real quick. Um, do we want to go with the axe, or do we want to go with... We want to go with the sledgehammer. Oh, oh, damn it. Gotta get in there with the overhead. Damn. Go. Damn it. There we go. The bill hook, man, you know, I kind of want to check it out now. Let's pick it up, who cares? Alright, um, I don't know if there's more action in here, so I'm not going to put that torch on just yet. Let me take a look around. Looks alright. And we'll switch back here. Okay. Alright, list of people assigned guard duty here. Same names are repeated. Sign and stamp over and over again. Okay. What the hell is that? We got some more bill hooks here. Yep. Lots of them. You know, I almost, I don't, I feel like I don't remember this area. I had to have gone through here on my f my first playthrough, but for some reason I just really don't remember this, this little prison area. Let's see if we can open this. Yes, no, yeah. Well, we can open it, but doesn't look like there's anything in here. Nope, don't see anything. Alright, so let's move through the store. Alright. Well, what I want to do is arm the bill hook and not drop the damn torch on the ground for some reason. There we go. Alright, where's that zombie at? Where the hell did they go? I don't know. I just want. Alright, just pick up the damn torch. I think he went to the left, right? I wanted to stay here where this light is, so I could do battle there, but... Alright, let's go over here. Wait, this is the double bathroom. Haven't I already been here before? I don't think so. Alright, now this looks like some kind of embalming room. You know what, I, I don't remember most of this stuff at all from the first playthrough. I don't, I guess my memory just really sucks. Because, I, I mean, I had to have gone through here to begin with. Cleaver, nothing good there. Nothing interesting here. Some tongs on the table. Let me look over here real quick. Nothing interesting. Alright, let's see. Doesn't look like there's anything cool over here. Nothing in that lectern. Can't check that. And then we have the crematorium. Yeah, I think I do... Okay, now I think I remember this place. Alright, there's that zombie. Let's get that bill hook out again. 
I think there's another. Is there another zombie up there? I hope not. They'll probably walk out here behind me in a second. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. There we go. I was going to say, how many times do I have to connect with the bill hook? Not sure I'm very impressed with this weapon. Right, leather cap versus my tough leather cap. No, thank you. Velvet tunic. No. 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 Alright. So we'll pick up the torch. And we'll keep the bill hook for now, I think. Well, actually, no. Let's switch back to the sledgehammer. Alright, let's do it. Come on. Overhead missed. It's a sledgehammer versus a crutch. This should not... Yeah, I was going to say this should not be an issue. So that zombie smartly ran off. But I'm not going to give up so easily. Where the hell... Oh, okay. Yeah, you're not going to escape. Okay, yeah, you are. I'm trying to run after him. It's just not working. Alright, whatever. Now we're stuck on the edge of the door like we always are, for the love of God. Okay. So that zombie will come back and bother us most likely very soon. It's a little too dark in here. Okay, so let's see what we got. Nothing interesting whatsoever. Let's go this way. What we got here? In case you couldn't guess, nothing interesting whatsoever. Alright. Moving on. Now what the hell is up? Oh, okay. And my arm twisted strangely behind my back. Is that the, that's not the same enemy, is it? I don't think so. No, they don't have the crutch. I don't know why that overhead didn't finish him. I'm really, really bad with the sledgehammer. I'm about to die. I'm about to get killed with a fucking bedpan. There we go. And that pretty much... puts an end to this issue. I'm getting rid of the sledgehammer. I don't like it. A, it's too slow. B, the... Part of it that you can actually attack with is too tiny. It's not worth it. Not for me, anyway. Alright, so we're waiting for our health to kind of crawl back up. I guess in the meantime, we could go looking for that zombie that ran off. Probably won't find the zombie, but whatever. Yeah, not finding a zombie. Well, let's go in here real quick. Oh, shit. Let's go with the axe. Throw that on the ground. <clears throat> shit. There we go. There we go. And there we go. Alright, so that would be enough of you. Let's see if you got anything interesting here. Nope, just more of the same old bullshit. Pick that torch up. 
And of course it's too damn dark to see. I really need to find a better one-handed weapon. I'm still using this piece of shit wood with some nails stuck in it for God's sake. Uh, torch, or not torch, a crutch and a bedpan over here. Don't see anything over there. Could possibly find something in this, but of course not. Um, long list of people undergoing treatment for wounds. Don't see anything interesting over here. Did I open that door before? I don't know. But I want to. Well, just don't want anyone running in on me, but maybe closing it will actually draw a zombie to me because it'll make noise. I don't know. Okay, Deconstructing Humanity. Medical book on human anatomy. Complex diagram, surgical terminology. Stuff that deals with the brain is circled. They lose the will to live without their bodies. They seem completely bound to their mortal remains. Is it just because of their lesser minds? God's blow, what am I doing? All right, just more lore filling us in on the weird experiments going on down here. Or that were going on down here in the past. And nothing else interesting, of course. Alright, so we'll go ahead and end this episode right here. I'd like to thank you as always for watching, and when we come back next time, we'll continue to explore this area. So thank you, and we'll see you soon for some more Xanima.